I'm going to go over this real quick, guys, real, real quick um, for Molly. When you guys are solving, so this whole prime, guys, the whole thing we've done today is add, subtract, multiply, divide, simplify. Now, in our final installment, we're solving. Basically, we're trying to find the values of x. We're going to find the values of x that are going to make this equation true. So to be able to do that, the first thing we need to do is we need to undo that square root. So to undo the square root, what we simply need to do is we need to first isolate the square root. So the first thing we're going to do is going to add 1. So therefore, I have the square root of 3x plus 3 equals x plus 1. Does everybody see how I isolated the square root? Now that it's isolated, now how do you undo the square root? What is the opposite? What is the inverse operation of the square root? Yeah, you raise it to the second power or square it. Well, whatever you do on one side, you have to do on the other side. Yes, Casey? Good. So now, well, the square root of something squared undoes itself. So that's just 3x plus 3. x plus 1, please remember, guys, x plus 1 squared is x plus 1 times x plus 1. You have to do FOIL. We're short on time. So I'll, what I'm trying to say is this does not equal x squared plus 1 squared. No. x plus 1. What does x squared equal? x squared equals x times x. So x plus 1 squared equals x plus 1 times x plus 1. You got to apply FOIL, right? You got to do FOIL. Well, I'm going to save you guys some time and effort here, and I'm just going to tell you what the answer would be for this one, which is x squared plus 2x plus 1. Now, the next thing, Mario, that we're going to do is now we're going to solve quadratics. Well, we spent a whole chapter on solving quadratics. And if you guys remember, the first thing when we solved quadratics is we had to set the equation equal to 0. zero. So to do that, I'm going to subtract a 3x, and I'm going to subtract a 3. Now I have 0 equals x squared minus x minus 2. Now I have a quadratic equation equal to 0. So now I can solve this by looking into factoring first. If factoring doesn't work, I can look into using quadratic formula. Remember, we do a times c. a is my 1. c is negative 2. So I do what two numbers multiply to give you negative 2 and then add to give me negative 1. What two numbers multiply to give you negative 2 and add to give you negative 1? Two, negative 2 and then positive Negative 2, positive 1. 0 equals x minus 2 times x plus 1. Right? Equals 0. Now you use the zero product property. x minus 2 equals 0. x plus 1 equals 0. x equals 2. x equals negative 1. However, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to be very, very cautious with you. When you're solving, when you're solving um, these equations, you have two answers. You've got to go back and check your answer for this. So let's plug in 2 here. Let's plug in 2 in for x and make sure that we're going to have the same side, both sides equal each other. 3 times 2 is 6. 6 plus 3 is 9. Square root of 9 is 3. 3, three minus 1 is 2. And then you'd put a 2 in for that x, right? So 2 works. Let's put in a negative 1 in for both x's. Okay? 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. Uh, negative 3 plus 3 is 0. Square root of 0 is 0. Negative 1 equals negative 1. Hmm, they both work. Oh, I guess they both work in this case. Cool. All right, sweet. They both work. Sometimes you got to be careful. Sometimes they will not both work. So you could have issues with that. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it.